Shanice says, hey, coach, hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you. How do you trust God with an uncertainty that you pray to him about? Let me tell you something about uncertainties. God is certain about everything. <laughs> God is certain about everything. If there is anyone that's certain about everything, is that person. That's God. So the goal in life is to measure your trust level with him. Every test of life is going to reveal to you, not to God, because God is all knowing. It's going to reveal to you how much you trust him. Every time, every time I face myself with the uncertainty, I always look at my heart first. Now, some situations, one to 10, I'll be like, man, okay, I really trust God with this. Sometimes, I, anytime I feel my trust wane, I got to say, how much, how much time have I been spending with God? Because there are certain things going to happen in certain seasons where you're going to be like, hey, man, what happened? It's because you haven't done the things you're supposed to do every day to keep your faith strong. I tell people spiritual awareness is and spiritual disciplines are essential for spiritual growth. I have to be spiritually aware of God, spiritually aware. I have to be spiritual whether he's everywhere. I have to be um, cognizant of my spiritual disciplines because I'm going to tell you something. There's not one current NBA player that doesn't dribble a ball every day. There's not one NFL player that doesn't, doesn't, th that doesn't throw, catch, run on a football field. There's not a person who's a surgeon that is not around his tools. There's not a, a, a woman in the army that doesn't work her gun every day. Because when you do it every day, when that day of evil come, you're ready to you ready to go. And so it's easy to become certain, even in uncertainty, when you know the one that's certain about everything to a T. And then you'll be like, hey, man, I don't got nothing to worry about. Now, this is the time for you to take intel and say, OK, on a scale of one to ten, how uncertain am I about God coming through for this? Number one, that's what you do. What number is that? Then you got to, then from that number, that number will humble you. Say, okay, God, I, I repent for thinking this way. Help me to change and renew my mind about this. Ask yourself, you use Proverbs 3, 3 through 5, right? How much of your heart do you trust God with this? Trust him with all your heart. And how much of it, well, how much of your time have you been leaning on your understandings? And how much of your time have you been acknowledged this, him with this, right? Because your level of trust will determine your level of, 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 of enduring the test, right? And how do I make myself trust? Now, how do you make yourself trust? Number one, you got to track God's faithfulness. Number one thing, you got to track God's faithfulness. On a sheet of paper, I want you to write down how in the last seven days, how has God been faithful to you? And we need to go a little bit further back because God has been faithful. See, th let me tell you something. The reason why we do not trust God like we should because we measure God's faithfulness based upon the big things he do for us. For instance, if you're single and, and God hasn't brought your husband, it's going to be hard to trust him if, if your trust is based upon whether that big thing is going to come or not. I don't, my trust increases or I would trust God if he would bring my wife through or bring my husband through or bring my child through. If God brings the big things through, that's not a way you measure God. Because you measure God based upon the big things, and you won't become a big enough thing for that thing because you're not doing what you need to do in the current time frame to become that person. What you have to do is track God's faithfulness breath by breath. The Bible says it's in him that we live, move, and have our being. It is a miracle to be breathing right now. It, every day I wake up, God, I think because it's a miracle that I'm awake. And if you measure God's track record or faithfulness based upon breath by breath, then you won't have to worry about catching your breath because you're full of anxiety because you know God has been faithful to you 200 some thousand times a day. <clears throat> 200,000 plus times a day, God has been faithful to you. And when you say God has been faithful to me like that, then what is this Philistine? What is this mountain? What is this uncertainty? Because if God can keep my heart beating, keep my lungs breathing, certainly he can make this uncertain situation uh, uh, um, fixable, doable, livable. So you got to track God's track record and how he's been faithful to you. Because every time you take a deep breath, every time you breathe, that's, man, God. Thank you. So, 
How do I make myself trust? You got to track God's track record. You got to start investing in your relationship with God. You got to better understand what season you're in and better understand the things around you. Make sure you better understand uh, uh, the things that you're involved in. Next, you got to get into the scriptures. You got to see God for what he has already written about himself. And you got to understand that certain things take time. That's how you build your trust. T-R-U-S-T. Number one, track God's track record. Number two, invest in your relationship with him more. Start getting to your spiritual disciplines. Start getting to him, loving on him as a person. Take some time to better understand where you are. Because sometimes God can't come through for stuff that ain't in us. You know what I'm saying? If, why would God give you a million dollars if you know you can't manage a hundred? So I'm saying, so then you lack trust in God, but you, you, you're not even trustworthy enough yourself, right? Next, you got to get into the scripture, see what the word of God says about him. And last one, you got to understand that some things take time. Some things take time, and I got to trust God's timing. That's how you make yourself trust God, man. Track his track record. Write down a sheet of paper how God's been faithful to you. Start investing your relationship with him. Start better understanding uh, where you are and why you're there so that you can make the necessary adjustments and changes. Um, get into the scriptures. And then last but not least, uh, understand that things take time. And so and stay and stand. Sometimes you got to stand and see and wait until he comes.